Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Furlands. Thank you for tuning in. As I promised that I would make up a review video um, after the Sony State of Play was done today on February 25th, Thursday. Um, in my area it was 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I watched the whole thing and I, you know, noted some points down. So I just wanted to go through them. Before we start, I do want to say that I have to take an L on this one because my last video was about predictions for State of Play and all of my predictions were wrong. I mentioned uh, Ratchet and Clank would be there, Horizon Zero Dawn, um, maybe even God of War, though I kind of had a feeling God of War was a bit of a long stretch, but I was pretty confident with, uh, with the Horizon Zero Dawn. I was uh, really expecting uh, to see maybe just a little bit of it, but um, that wasn't the case there, um, neither with Ratchet and Clank, so uh, a little disappointing in that regard, but you know, there were some uh, some good gameplay shown, some good games shown, so some of them I didn't care too much, but we'll go through them uh, one by one. So starting off, the first game they showed was the new Crash Bandicoot. Now, um, I've played the original Crash Bandicoot games, you know, I, I you know, fairly, you know, quite some time ago that I've played them and they're nice. This game in particular I want to say that does look nice. It's a nice platformer so you know if you want something to kill time with and uh, you know in between waiting for some of the bigger games to come out. Uh, it's definitely something um, to consider. Me personally I mean I'd buy it but not when it's full price. I mean personally speaking I'd probably wait until the price drops down a little bit. Maybe it's on sale or something and uh, maybe worth uh, picking up at that uh, particular point. Now coming on to the second game they showed and honestly I completely forgot about this game when I posted my video yesterday about the predictions for the state of play and this is Returnal uh, by Housemark, uh, same people who made, I think if I'm not wrong, The Order 1886, which in all honesty was a fantastic game. I loved uh, The Order 1886. I know a lot of people didn't like it because of the fact that, uh, you know, it had uh, a shorter gameplay time, which I agree with, of course, I think the game should have been a little bit longer. But yet again, the cinematography in that game, uh, the quality of the graphics, the gameplay ideology, and the story, they were fantastic. Like, I was blown away when I played that game originally. And, uh, you know, maybe I should, because uh, I still have the game on the PS4, maybe I should put it back in, start recording, and put up some clips from, from that game. So, same creator uh, that's uh, creating Returnal, the game looks, yet again, absolutely beautiful. Uh, the narrative story parts they've shown a little bit like you know you're you're this uh, uh, scout uh, who's stuck on this planet where every time you die uh, you come back to life and the planet changes so a very very nice uh, narrative and and you know if if you know if they play their cards right the story I think will be absolutely fantastic and uh, sincerely hoping that that is the case here as well. Uh, the design looks amazing. Enemy design especially looks absolutely amazing. It does look like it has some elements of, uh, of a horror game in there. So that's very, very interesting and, uh, and exciting, um, obviously. And uh, the gunfights and everything. Yeah, I, 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 everything I've seen about this game so far excites me. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. And uh, we'll definitely see how this game turns out. Now... The number third game that we saw was Knockout City. Now, I gotta be honest, this looks like another Destruction All-Stars game, but uh, but with dodgeball. And, uh, you know, Destruction All-Stars, I, like, I don't have a PS5, I haven't played the game, but from what I've seen, it's like, it's one of those, like, you know, knockoff games for, like, Twisted Metal, but not, like, one of the good knockoffs, but, like, an okay knockoff of, uh, of uh, Twisted Metal. But, uh, you know, definitely not a game that I'd pick up on full price yet again. I'd probably wait until either if it's off, um, you know, on sale or something and um, maybe give it uh, a try at that point. Or if you have some friends and, you know, you just want to jump in and have some fun, uh, 
with a couple of your friends might be worth at that point uh, picking up and just uh, giving it a try but uh, definitely not worth full price in my opinion and uh, number four was this new game I think we are seeing it for the first time they showed gameplay of it Sifu um, I mean looks okay yet again sort of maybe an indie game maybe I'm just being a little unfair calling it an indie game but that kind of feels like it definitely not a game for me I don't usually play games or like that I mean I'm not sure I think I want to see more about it before I, I make a decision on whether I'll pick it up or not and uh, you know kind of go from there um, but but definitely something I'd keep an eye on to see what what more they show of the game what's the story beats what's the ideology behind it all that number five was solar ash now we have seen the gameplay trailers of this game before this time I think it was one of the the creators that was narrating the game and they kind of uh, you know walked us through um, what the game is about what's the uh, what is the protagonist looking for and you know who are the enemies what are the enemy types I think they kind of mentioned like the enemy types are unique but between you and me they all look kind of same to me I mean it has a very interesting art style and that's really cool but at the same time I don't think it's a game for me and uh, it, it was giving a lot of you know shed of the Colossus wives when like the larger enemies came into like the boss the bosses I guess where the game came in so you know maybe some interesting elements might be worth checking out but definitely not um, not a day one purchase for me for sure the next one in all honesty this was quite a surprise so this is number six which was security breach which in all honesty until they said the name of the game I thought it was another Five Nights at Freddy's and um, that, that's pretty much it I mean when I watched the trailer I'm like oh my god there you go another Five Nights at Freddy's spin-off or uh, a game like that but it says the name of the game is security breach uh, some sort of horror genre but has a kind of funny vibe to it as well like very very Five Nights at Freddy's I don't think it had any of a different feel for me so you know not my kind of game I, I didn't play the Five Nights at Freddy's uh, games previously or any games like that I'm just you know just not something for me so you know we'll just uh, move on from that one and uh, we'll go to number seven now number seven was odd world soulstorm now I I like this game I haven't played the odd world game, the, the first odd world game um, but this one does look very very interesting um, I mean I, I would definitely pick this game up given the chance I mean I do like platformers and this is definitely one of them that I would you know give a chance kind of see uh, what it's like and interestingly I know they mentioned something along the lines of PSV version is or PS5 version is free in April which um, I, I think I, I think you have to have PS plus which you know if it is I mean it, that's fantastic I, I think this would be a game well worth your time does look a bit challenging uh, which you know traditionally some platformers can be to an extent and uh, uh, but it does look exciting. I definitely want to give it a try and uh, uh, see uh, what it's like. Now moving on number eight. Now this is a game I'm very excited about. Yet again a game that I completely missed in my uh, predictions video and I don't know how it escaped my mind but I probably should have done a little bit more research. Kenna Bridge of Spirits. I gotta say this game looks beautiful. It looks like a game from one of the Pixar movies from Disney. It, the gameplay looks fantastic. I think the story might not be as interesting because it kind of looked like she's looking for like some sort of a temple and you're going to have like, I don't know man, a bad shaman or <laughs> a wizard that you're going to have to fight. But everything other than that, the, the cinematography of the game, the graphics, the gameplay, the music, it's just the art style. It looks beautiful. Like I am super excited about this game. For me, I I do want to say that I think this will be a day one purchase. Um, I'll definitely give it a try and you know be willing to say, hey, okay, you know, if I pick up a PS5, which I think this one side is going to be on a PS4 as well, 
So that'll be interesting, but I'd want to probably play a game like this in 60 frames per second because I believe that would only be available on the PS5 and uh, give that a try. But um, yeah, man, I, I, this this game looks very good. I, I'm I'm really excited. I think out of the entire showcase, I mean, it was this and Returnal, which uh, you know have have me the most hyped about. Uh, uh, any of the upcoming titles from uh, from uh, any of the companies, uh, Sony in this particular case, but uh, definitely looking forward to it. And uh, you know, we'll keep an eye out. And uh, if I get a chance, I'll probably pick up a copy and, and review it uh, for you guys. And we'll see. I might wait until I pick up a PS5 before putting my review in for most of these games. But uh, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Now moving on to number 9, now this is a game that they've been showcasing in more or less every other state of play, I, I think they had it on the PS5 reveal state of play as well and, uh, and you know there's been a lot of talk behind this game and that is Deathloop. Now the art style looks very interesting like very retro 70s, 80s um, and uh, the plot line you know being that you gotta escape this island and you know there's one assassin like this girl who's trying to kill you but you have your own targets that you have to all kill in one loop um, but if you die you know you start from the beginning again and then you go through the same loop so you can try and strategize a little bit on how to get all targets together or get them in one location and you know something along those lines. Now it looks very interesting, no doubt about it. I mean, yet again, it's not a day one purchase for me personally. I mean, I'd be willing to pick up the game, but not, um, you know, something that I, I would say, okay, you know what, I, I gotta have it no matter what. So um, I mean, I, I'd be excited to pick up the game um, and you know give it a try, play it, but maybe I'd probably wait until it's on sale or something and my, that would be the same advice for someone else as well. If you do like the game, you know, hey, leave it in the comments, let me know what you think about it. Uh, if you do pick up a copy and uh, what are your thoughts on it. Me personally, I'd probably wait when it's like maybe 10-20 bucks cheaper and then pick a copy up and then uh, give it a try. Now, going on towards number 10. Number 10 was Final Fantasy 7 Remake Integrate. Now, I think pretty much the same formula. I think you you have a different team of people here who are running adjacent to the original team with Cloud and Tifa and you know all the other characters from the Final Fantasy 7 Remake that they had launched in last year. Now, obviously graphically the game looks impressive, same gameplay style. Um, so very interesting in that regard. If you ask me if I played the Final Fantasy 7 remake, I have not. Well, for me personally, I've never played any of the Final Fantasy games, so I, I couldn't really, you know, give too much information. Obviously, the games look beautiful. They do look AAA in quality, and uh, you know, definitely something that I should give a try. I just haven't had the chance to pick it up and play it, but. Um, once I do get an opportunity, I definitely will. They did show a lot of the, um, you know, the updates that they're going to be bringing in for the PS5. Uh, for it, like uh, the graphical fidelity, 60 frames per second. And uh, interestingly for me, it seemed like that they're increasing a lot of the volumetrics, fogs, lighting as well. Um, I think they highlighted texture details as well. Which was uh, which was very interesting um, for me. So I mean, definitely a good uh, next gen upgrade. Oh, and the loading times. One thing I was right about SSD speed, <laughs> which I think in Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate they were showing the loading speeds are gonna be amazing from your load file to the main screen, which was uh, you know I found that a little funny. I'm like, okay, of all of my predictions that I had, at least the loading speed kind of made kind of an appearance there. So that was. Uh, a little funny but uh, definitely interesting in that regard and that was basically uh, it guys 10 games that they showed um, uh, obviously for me the big highlights were like I mentioned Kenna Bridge of Spirits and Returnal very excited about these games and definitely looking forward to them and um, all the other games like they're they look pretty good but for me uh, not not all of them are there 
I mean, I like I mentioned in my predictions video as well, I was sincerely hoping that they would show something for Horizon Zero Dawn or um, Ratchet and Clank. Um, like I said, I mean, God of War was gonna be a bit of a long shot, but uh, you know, you can always hope, and I was hoping. Uh, apart from that, um, you know, we'll, we'll wait and see. Maybe they'll have another state of play in March or in April. Uh, I'm still expecting that when they do announce God of War, it's definitely gonna come with a special edition PS5 version. Uh, you know, so I think they're definitely gonna make a bigger event out of uh, when they do show God of War. And uh, we'll see. Anyway, guys, thank you again for tuning in, watching my video. Please like, share, and subscribe. We're gonna call it a night, and I'll definitely try and upload tomorrow as well. Take care.